Hey guys, I'm Steve and this is Doug and we're going to show you some really cool features in DYM games. Specifically in this video, I'm going to show you how to switch back and forth between DYM games and any other presentation software that you have on your church computer. I'm going to show you a camera feed right now of what I'm seeing. Uh, this would be your computer in the back of your uh, church and then right here would be the screen in front of your audience that you're seeing. With DYM games, you can easily come up here and hit the live button and that will put it live on the second screen or turn it off easily. All it's doing is hiding and showing a window. You can also do that same thing in an application like ProPresenter. In ProPresenter, you have an output button right here. If I click that, it will show and hide. The way that these presentation softwares work is it's a layer based system. So right now ProPresenter on my machine is above DYM games. So if I hide ProPresenter, it will reveal DYM games. And then if I come over here to DYM games and I hide this, it will reveal the desktop. So we can easily come in here, play a DYM games. We're gonna look for a kid. Hey, Doug, you get to come up. All right, you get to come up and you get to play our next game this same concept can also be used with something like PowerPoint. I'm gonna open up this PowerPoint game. When I hit play, you'll notice that nothing happened over here. That's because PowerPoint on my machine right now happens to be the furthest down layer. If I come over here to DYM game, actually I'm gonna to go to ProPresenter because that's what I can see here. And if I turn it off, I can see that DYM games is underneath. Well, I can come to DYM games, play another round, and Susie gets to come up on stage. Great, Susie, turn off DYM games. You get to play the Can I Eat That game. Super simple. Well, that's it. I hope you guys like it. Let us know what you think, and uh, thank you so much for trying out DYM games.